Guys, so um, just got a quick video on how I make my soft plastic lures. Um, if you're interested, and, um, yeah, check it out. Right, so I'm just doing some lure moulding. Um, here's some I just done uh, a minute ago. Um, it's with an injection mould. Here's the um, injector. And I uh, what do is melt the plastic down, and um, suck up an injector and inject into the molds. There's um, a little shad, um, so that's injected. I'll um, what I do is pull the um, excess plastic off, put that back in the um pot to remap down. Ooh, and there's my finished lure. Yes. Shad. Um, here's an example of um, a creature bait. Same thing, pull the sort of spurter off, fill it back in the pot and um, go again. Right, so I'll clean all this up and get set up and mould some lures quick. Right, so here's the plastic. It's in the um, hard form. What I do now is um, stick it in the microwave. Um, first for about a minute and a half to um, start up proceed to mounting it down. It's got to get to a, I think 350 degrees before it goes liquidy. I'll just show you one of the molds quick. Um, this is the, this is the, one of the molds, protection molds. Um, if it's going to focus, it's a creature bait, and um, what I do is put them together, um, pop it with the other lures, uh, with the other molds, clamp them together because you've got to remember, because it's an injection mold, you're putting pressure into the um, the, the mold, the injector to get the plastic to flow through the mould. So clamp them up nice and tight. And um, my soft plastic is melting, so I'll just go back and check that. Right, so that's the first, first stage, you can see. Um, some of it's melted, not all of it. Um, I recommend don't do what I'm doing when you, if if you are um, wanting to give this a go, wear some um, gloves and maybe even a mask because the fumes they're not very nice. They they smell bad and could probably be harmful. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just demonstrating a small batch and then. Is use. So that's going quite liquidy now. You want it sort of the consistency of milk, I guess. Nice and runny. I'll put that in for another 30 seconds. But you've got to be careful you don't heat it up too quick, otherwise, you can burn the plastic. Right, so the microwave just finished that other th additional 30 seconds. And I do believe. That's it, nice smooth consistency. There's no lumps and bumps in there. 
Might go over to the injector. Just got the plastic. Right, so I've got my plastic I've just warmed up. It's thin consistency. Put my stern stick in my spare Pyrex chuck. And just check the injectors nice and clean and smooth. I can feel there's a really good suction on there. So now I'll suck up suck up um full injectors worth of soft plastic and pop it in the mould, push firmly, wait literally a second so I know that's full pressure and that's going to fill all the expenditures of the um, mould and just work my way along with the moulds I've got here. I've got some aluminium moulds and some um, yeah, like a porcelain uh, porcelain kind of mould and w once I've done all my moulds I squirt the spare plastic back into the bowl and that's ready to go if I had another mould uh, another mould set up I could just inject straight away back into there by sucking the plastic back up because it would stay it would stay um, liquidy um, uh, it would stay in liquid form um, when once the other hot soft plastic touches it so um, let's clean the jet throughout. You twist the um, your locking screw sideways so you can get that out and just pull out. That's the end of the, in the injector. And by now the um, plastic's cooled enough just to better touch it. It's a little warm, but no sweat. That's the injector clean for the next the next mold. I'll just leave them all just a second, cool down and I'll show you the show you some of the loose. Right, so as that um last lot of lures are cooling, I'll just show you um here's some of the creature baits I made earlier and some grubs, paddle tail, um, various different colours, just have an experiment really. Um I put them into a little bowl of water when so I've taken them out of the mould just for a minute or so to help cure the plastic um, and then take them straight back out. Right, so I'm just going to crack over this mould and um, show, you, show you what they come out like. Might still be a little early. Plastic's still probably a little warm, but just so you can see, I guess that's the um, two sides of the mould. You see that? That's the um, the lure in there. Let's pull it out. I'm going to focus on that. There's your, there's your creature bait, and just pull all them little tag, tag bits off. Just one. Let's show you one of the other ones quick to get the idea. There's another one. There's your, your lure in there. Lovely. So it's the end of the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the insight on how I make soft plastic lures, and um, check out on the internet um, where you can get the moulds and lure stuff for yourself. Um, I I just generally do a lot of Google searching to find the moulds and whatnot. Um, there's no particular brand of stuff that I favour the most. Um, if you enjoyed the video please like and 
If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.